Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for checking in. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my city's fiber optic internet service and explain a bit how that actually works within my house. As a longtime fan of cutting edge technology, I always dreamt of the utopia of fiber internet, but it was the type of thing I never had the chance to actually experience because it's not widely available until I made the call to have it installed here. And I found the whole process to be really fascinating and the resulting service has been absolutely exceptional. So I thought maybe you guys might wanna see how this works. Now, I wanna start off by explaining that I understand I'm pretty lucky to live in a city in America where the city itself actually owns and operates its own fiber optic internet service. This is not at all common across the country, but my town of Fort Collins, Colorado was actually a pretty early adopter several years back. And now nearly 100% of the city's residents have access to fiber internet if they want it, which is incredible. In August 2023, the city finished their main build out. So this includes 357 fiber areas, which each contain around 225 homes. If you do the math there, that means that the city can now service over 80,000 homes within the city, which is incredible. They even have a digital inclusion program, which for income qualified customers, lowers the price of the standard one gigabit internet service from $70 a month all the way down to $20 a month for those people. And that's just massive. And this is all really great because the size of the company is still so small because it's hyper local. They're only trying to service the city of Fort Collins. When you deal with a nationwide company like Comcast, that's really just focused on profits. Your customer experience anytime something goes wrong can be atrocious. And I've put up with companies like that for years before making the call over to Connection to get my service set up. That's the name of Fort Collins service, Connection with an X. So when I finally made that call, I was informed that the installation would be a pretty quick and easy two-step process. Now the city has slowly but diligently been building out the infrastructure for this fiber internet service for the past couple years through every single neighborhood street in the city. So this means that any residential street you walk down in Fort Collins, between every pair of houses, you're gonna find one of these green boxes and it's actually built nicely into the ground. So it doesn't protrude or it doesn't stand out at all. This is basically a hub that's pre-installed and just waiting for every single residential home in the city to be hooked up to it. So once you've signed up for the service, the installation process basically looks like this. First step is that a crew will come to your home and dig a small trench from the street hub all the way to the side of your home. They'll install a utility box on the side of your home. They'll run the necessary cables from the home utility box all the way to the street hub. And then they'll bury those cables in that trench that they've just dug. They're very efficient at this and I can barely even tell that my yard was ever dug up anymore because the grass has settled back in very nicely. That's step one and it happens a couple days before the actual in-home installation process. Second step here is that the in-home installation crew will show up and they basically need to figure out how exactly you wanna wire your house for whatever setup you want. They're very willing to work with you on whatever setup you want. Uh, in my case, I wanted the hub to be in my living room, which is on the other side of my house. So the path we designed for them was to bring the cable from the utility box inside the garage, run that cable up and over the garage door to the other side of the garage, back down that wall, and then run the wire into the crawl space, which is between basically my garage and my living room. Then they ran the cable all the way through the crawl space and installed the fiber internet port on the other side of that wall that connects my living room to my crawl space. So that was the hard part of the installation done for them. From that fiber port that they installed in my living room wall, they run another fiber wire to what is essentially a modem. Uh, they call it a tower. You might also find it referred to as a gateway. It can be a router if you want it to be and send that Wi-Fi signal out into the home. Um, for myself, I have my own router that I preferred to use. The tower has a bunch of ethernet ports on the back, one of which I connected via a very long, neat ethernet cable into my router, which is now sending blazing fast one gigabit per second download and upload speeds all the way out into my home. No data caps, flawless. The installation was so easy. The technicians were super friendly as well and very willing to explain some stuff to me when I asked just because I'm naturally curious about this kind of stuff. And the internet service itself has been the best I've ever used in my life, hands down. I've never really dealt with any issues with connection at all since getting the service about two years ago. And I know that if I did have any issues, I could call their customer service line. They're super savvy and it's so easy to get a hold of them versus back when I used to have to call Comcast with all of their outages that I would always experience, I would dread calling their customer service department so badly. They've got three different speeds to choose from and the base one gig service is absolutely perfect for me and my household. Here you can see a chart comparing times to complete common tasks at each speed level 
and I can especially vouch for the one gig times listed for downloading games or uploading sizable videos as the speeds are so consistently excellent with this service. So that's really it. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what a typical residential fiber optic internet setup might look like. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it as interesting as I did. I definitely dream of a future where this infrastructure is the norm and not such a rare thing to find across the country because we all deserve to have access to high quality, super fast internet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.